Good day, and we're going to be starting our tutorial on using bubble.us to make concept maps. So first, we need to get there. This is a website, a tool, one amongst many that you can use uh, to make a digital concept map that you can then print out if you don't wish to do pen and paper. So I've got my Google search bar, I've got uh, bubble.us typed in, I hit search, and it's the first hit on the top. Let the site load, which sometimes takes a little bit. So, site pops up, I hit start brainstorming, and I start out with my blank concept map and a bubble that says start here. So I'm just going to click on there, highlight this guy, and replace it with my own text instead of start here. So I'll put in chemistry as my example. Click off the outside, now I have a bubble with chemistry in it, and it's a little dull. So let's make some connections and some more ideas. So I'm going to grab, I've got new child bubble that's going to kind of do a sub-level. It's how it's picking colors, essentially. And I've got new bubble, which is kind of a new side bubble. Uh, either one will work. I'm going to do the, the child bubble. So chemistry is a science, so I'll put in science. Click off to the side, so I'm now looking at it. I've got chemistry, I have science, but I want to see how they relate, so I'm going to click on the line that's connecting them. I'll click up there, and every time I'm clicking, I'm always doing left clicks. This is a flash base, so it doesn't want to do right clicks. And I'm just going to type in a label. This is usually going to be a verb-like label, so I'm going to do is a, and then just going to click off to the side, so now I have chemistry is a science. Okay. I can go for a sub-level of science, and I can say scientific method. Now I want to see how that relates, so science uses the scientific method. I currently have a sentence style tree, so it's one chain, chemistry connects to science, connects to scientific method. I could read that off as chemistry is a science, uses scientific method. It's not particularly well formatted sentences, but it's a sentence. You're not trying to make a sentence here. You're trying to either make a tree or a web. If you had a sentence, you would simply write this out as a sentence. So I want to start expanding this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to chemistry, and I'm going to make a new bubble off to the side. So I'll click the bubble uh, icon again. That gives me a new bubble. It just pops it to the side. And I'll say chemicals. And I need to have a verb here, so I'll do studies. So I have chemistry, studies, chemicals. Well, a little more. Well, chemicals are relate to atoms, and they are made of atoms. So now I can continue going a little bit further. I can add a, another line. I can say stuff. And chemicals makes make up stuff. Now, if I want to start changing things up, I've currently got a nice tree, and if that's the, the approach you're going for, you're going fairly good, but a few things can happen. One, things can start getting crowded. I've got my verbs over in here starting to get a little crowded. So what I can do is I can let my mouse hover over. I can left-click and kind of drag that. So if I want to start moving things, I can drag them by simply left-clicking and dragging while holding the mouse button. Now, I'm hovering it over. I can do a couple other things. I can change the color to really whatever I'd like. So if I want orange or uh, maybe a nice purple, I can go for whatever color I'd like. I can also change the size so I can make it smaller and smaller, bigger, and I can do connections. So right now I've got a tree. If I want to go for more of a web, I can click connect. I hold down the left mouse button and I hover it over to wherever I want to land it. Then I can click on the arrow again. I type in a label. I can change the ends if I would like. So I can click on there. I can change the start end you can't really see because it's covering, but now I have a double-headed arrow. I can change the other end, so now it's an arrow going the other way. Or I can just make it not an arrow. You know, really whatever I'd like. This gives you some basic tools to make a concept map. This is, of course, a really simple concept map, uh, but the beginnings of one. 
so you'd want to expand upon this. You could have the scientific method and you know, actually expand on what that is. Eventually, you'll get yourself a concept map. It's going to look nice. What do you want to do with it? Right now, it's on a website, and not much you can do with it. So you've got two choices. One, you can export this. This will give you either a JPEG or a PNG image. There's websites that go ad nauseum on which one's better and when. For the most purposes, it doesn't really matter. This will give you an image file that you could then import into, say, Word or into your email or whatnot. Alternatively, if you want a hard copy, which is how I'm taking most of these guys that you're turning in, you can hit print. That gives you an image of what you're going to print. You can try and change how it's printing uh, in pages, and then eventually hit print. A, I can send it to my inkjet printer, or I can send it to something that writes PDFs. So really whatever I would like for printing choices, uh, whatever's available. So there's your basic concept map. Hope this helps, and have fun.